All right, so the next thing I'm going to do over here is just to show you guys how to enable our uh, managed service identity on on a device, um, on, a, on a VM in this case. So I select this machine, go to identity over here, and then I'm going to go ahead and set it on. I'm going to save it. And this is a system assigned identity, which means this identity is attached to this VM. Once this VM is deleted, the identity is also going to be deleted. This identity is attached to the life cycle of this, of this machine. And again, you can see over here, this resource is registered with the Azure Active Directory. So when I select this in and I click Save, a service principle is created in the Azure Active Directory, and that is what we will assign permissions to to do anything in the future. Again, remember, the benefit of managed service identity is for us to not have a need to store credential inside a code among other, uh, other, other, other benefits. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know go to the next stage now. I'm going to uh, create um, uh, so my storage account. I already have a storage account that I created here before. I called it Cloud 55577. Um, I'm going to click that, and inside that I'm going to go ahead and create um, a container. So go to Blob. You know I'm going to go to Blob Services. There are more than one services, but here I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to call this one, uh, I'm just going to call this one uh, college. Uh, let me call it, um, uh, let's call it college. So I have something over here. I'm going to create this. And now I have created a container uh, inside my storage account. And this is where I could store files or store uh, any other uh, files in the future. I uh, just want to make sure that. Uh, we're all on the same page over here. So creating a storage account is very si easy. Select storage account. I can go over here and create one. And if you create one, you decide where you want to put it inside the resource group, which I already did before. Uh, put it in the region. Uh, you can give it a name. And it's as simple as that if you want to create a storage account. Uh, but I already have one here. And inside of that one, we created a container by clicking block. That's a type of storage, object storage for unstructured data. Uh, it can be accessed using REST APIs. I click it, and then I created a container here. The container is called College. So that is uh, the second phase of our steps over here. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to this College here and go to uh, give the VM that we created some access or some ability to do certain things. Now, you would decide what kind of permission you want to give to these uh, uh, to this VM? Uh, for the most part, uh, it ranges. And for our own purposes over here, we're only going to limit ourselves to giving this system ability to do. And I'm going to go to hard and roll assignment here. I'm going to go ahead and select a virtual machine. And you can see any system that has a you know, identity, managed service identity will be populated over here. I'm going to have to select which one I want. I'm going to go to my role over here. I'm going to go to storage account contributor. Over here. That's the permission I want to give to this, uh, to this VM. And I'm going to select the system that we just use over here and go to save. And so this machine now we have the ability or the permission, the access to manage, uh, uh, to us to manage content, you know, based on the permission we give to it. And if I go to view role assignment, you can see this machine now is a storage account contributor. It's not the only one, but you, know, you can see it over here. So to particular this resource, you can see over here is just to this resource. And I don't want to talk about you know this scope here later on, uh, if we ever talk about there, but. For this particular college uh, container, this machine have access to it to be a storage account. Uh, you know,